Good morning, buenos dias. Welcome to another day of life. It's good to join with you this morning. It is a Monday, the beginning of our week, just to remind you. And where we are, good morning, Laura, where I am, it's a little rainy right now. I don't know if that's the same where you are right now, Laura. And Laura works with horses, so you might be out in the mud today. I don't know what the weather's. Is it is it a rainy morning out there, Carol? <laughs> good. A raining morning. Well, rain is good. Hello, Barbara. Rain is good. It feeds the flowers and the vegetation. That's always good. So we are blessed. Yes, so I wish again that I could come and be with you in person, but we just keep making the best of it, and that's how we do. That's our new normal. Our new normal is making the best out of situations. So that's what we do. You know, I've been thinking a lot about this, and I don't know if you caught this when I was giving the announcement this Sunday, but I'm just calling our church into a season of uh, with seeking wisdom. I'm calling our church into a season of just asking God, who does he want us to be? Uh, I keep getting this image of, of uh, this is a cocoon moment, right? Personally, in our own lives, this is a cocoon moment. Um, and But as a, collectively as a church, um, and at some point, we're going to burst out of this um, as a butterfly, right? We'll, we'll be transformed. And that's my prayer is that this, this season will transform us into where God's calling us. Um, but what I don't know is what is the butterfly? <laughs> you know, leadership is, is based on uh, seeing a vision and, and pursuing that and asking people to follow you in that vision and i just have no idea where 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 that is what that butterfly is of course it's following a jesus of course it's loving our neighbors of course it's deepening our relationship with god we got that one down but what does it look like practically and so that's i'm in the season of just all of us wrestling with this question just saying god what are you doing here and what's my part what's our part in this so that's what i'm calling our church to it's a season of prayer, and I've been talking with Cheryl Wilton about how can we just come to Jesus in prayer and just pursue wisdom. So that's that's on my heart today uh, is just instead of being a leader who goes onto the mountain or goes into my closet to receive the special vision of God, when I come to a place and I don't know exactly what we we're supposed to do, you know what? I go and say, God's moving here. I trust that. But let's open this up into a season of prayer and seeking wisdom. And let's let each one of us do our part in that. And because we're a community, we're a family. This is a family thing. So that's kind of the way I'm operating here. And I'm so grateful for you guys joining us. Of course, there will be more details as to how to actually engage in that discernment moving forward. But um, one of those ways today is I've put uh, a reflection on Proverbs 8, which is all about seeking wisdom. So in our prayer time today, we are going to be asking God for wisdom. Um, and by the way, this is not just wisdom that um, we're seeking. I mean, the whole country, the whole world is in a moment where we should just, as a, as a country, as a world, we should just be doing, we should just be um, asking God and listening and praying as a country, as a world, and asking God, what, what are you doing? Um, how can we join you in this? So that's my intro into today. Um, let's seek wisdom together. Let's grow together. That at the end of this week, the butterfly that comes out would bring glory to God. Okay, well, let's get started here. Um, obviously, what we do on Mondays, if you've never joined us, 
I guess it wouldn't be that obvious to you, but on Mondays we do the Lutheran Liturgy of Matins, and that has a call and response. And so if you're new with us this morning, I do the call and then go ahead and speak the response wherever you are so that you're joining in with us. Go to the video comments and we'll start this time of prayer. <sighs> Let's pray this morning. Lord, open my lips. My mouth shall proclaim your praise. Satisfy us in the morning with your steadfast love, O oh God, that we may rejoice and be glad all our days. In the name of the glory to the Father, and to the Son, to the Holy Spirit, who was in the beginning, is now, and will forever be. Amen. Our psalm is from Psalm 37, 30 through 31. The mouth of the righteous utters wisdom. His tongue speaks what is just. The instruction of his heart, the instruction of his God is in his heart. His steps do not falter. God, we want that instruction of wisdom in our heart. This morning, today, as we go about our day, Jesus, let that be our will that your, your wisdom would guide and direct us, Jesus. As we continue a call, today we live in this new day, in the living and abiding word of God. The tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us. As we read this reading from past, excuse me, Proverbs 8, it's a little bit of a long reading. Um, I would just ask you just to receive this and be listening to what verse, image, what phrase stands out to you this morning, and reflect on why that is. So as I read this over us today, as we start our day in God's Word, it's no accident that you're here, and it's no accident that we have this scripture passage. It, there's something that God wants to speak into you and to us. So as I read this, be listening. For a word, a phrase, maybe it's an image, whatever it is that sparks in your heart because of this. And ask the question, God, why have you given that to me this morning? A reading from Proverbs 8. Does not wisdom call out? Does not understanding raise her voice? At the highest point along the way where the paths meet, she takes her stand. Beside the gate leading into the city at the entrance, she cries aloud, To you, O people, I call out. I raise my voice to all mankind. You who are simple, gain prudence. You who are foolish, set your hearts on it. Listen, for I am trustworthy, for I have trustworthy things to say. I open my lips to speak what is right. My mouth speaks what is is true for my lips to test wickedness all the words of my mouth are just none of them are crooked or perverse due to discerning all of them are right and they are upright to those who have found knowledge choose my instruction instead of silver knowledge rather than choice gold for wisdom is more precious than rubies and nothing you desire can compare with her I, wisdom, dwell, dwell together with prudence. I possess knowledge and discretion. To fear the Lord is to hate evil. I hate pride and arrogance, evil behavior and perverse speech. Counsel and sound judgment are mine. I have insight. I have power. Be by my kings, by me kings reign, and rulers issue decrees that are just. By me, princes govern, and nobles all rule the earth. I love those who love me, and those who seek me will find me. With me are riches and honor, enduring wealth and prosperity. My fruit is better than fine gold. What I yield surpasses choice silver. I walk in the way of the righteous along the paths of justice, bestowing a rich inheritance on those who love me 
and make their treasure and making their treasures full. The Lord brought me forth as the first of his works before his deeds of old. I was formed long ages ago at the very beginning when the world came to be. When there was no watery depths, I was given birth. When there was no springs overflowing with water, before the mountains were settled in place, before the hills, I was given birth. Before he made the world or its fields or any of the dust of the earth, I was there when he set the heavens in place and when he marked out the horizon on the face of the deep, when he established the clouds above the fixed and fixed securely the fountains of the deep. When he gave the sea its boundary so the waters could not overstep its command. And when he marked out the foundations of the earth, then I was constantly at his side. I was filled with delight day after day, rejoicing always in his presence, rejoicing in the whole world and delighting in mankind. Now then, my children, listen to me. Blessed are those who keep my ways. Listen to my instruction and be wise do not disregard it blessed are those who listen to me watching daily at my doors watching at my doorway for those who find me find life receive favor from the lord for those who fail to find me harm themselves all who hate me love death this is the word of the lord thanks be to god take a moment now reflect what word, image, or verse stood out to you in this reading? And reflect on why you think God gave you this. Take a moment now and write this in the comments. Go ahead and post what stood out to you this morning. And why it stood out to you. As you're doing that, I also loved said, verse 34 said, Blessed are those who listen to me, watching daily at my doors, waiting at my doorway. I just love that image of kind of sitting waiting for someone, and eagerly expecting them to show up or uh, waiting for them to come out and speak to you. And I just feel like that might be a posture for us today. Um, let us seek wisdom. Let us seek understanding. I love that. 
today. Let's seek that. May it be at the end of this day that we are wiser. That because of that, we are closer to Jesus. Let us continue today in our closing aspect of this prayer liturgy. Let us pray. O oh God, you have called your servants to ventures of which we cannot see the ending. By paths as yet untrodden, to perils unknown. Give us faith to go out with good courage, not knowing where we go, but only that your hand is leading us and your love is supporting us. Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Join me in praying the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not in temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Almighty God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, bless and preserve us. Amen. Now, my brothers and sisters, may you go in peace, listening to God's wisdom over you today, that we would use this day as an opportunity to grow in wisdom, to grow in faith, to grow in our love, Jesus Christ, our constant companion through all storms on all roads. And so, bless you today. Peace.